Welcome to Star Seeds and Star Breeds on YouTube and Facebook. Welcome everyone with an introduction to Starseeds and Starbreeds.com. And at this moment in time, we are all about awakening in this age of enlightenment called the Age of Aquarius. Today we are healing past lives, generations of problems, bad habits, hurts, hang-ups, and our family DNA. I was born on November 22nd through December 23rd as a sun sign in Sagittarius. The sun is about our soul, our self-manifestations, and the energy we give towards how we live our lives. When the sun is in Sagittarius, we want to manifest our journey of how to be a hero in our own lives and how we can be courageous and willing to be a hero to others. The house of Sagittarius is just that. The ninth house, a hero's journey, on planet Earth at this time of enlightenment, for our age and this time in history. This Gemini full cold moon was the last full moon of 2019. The full moon is about releasing what no longer serves us at this moment in time. The full moon in Gemini is curious and hungry for ideas and information. It can bring sudden awareness to our lives and a rather urgent need to know, to get an important message across, to finish a communications project, or to make an announcement. Travel and communications are in sharp focus. All of this info can be found at cafeastrology.com or I post on Star Seeds and Star Breeds um, group Facebook page every full moon all this information so you can find the link to the cafeastrology.com this week in astrology website page. Cafe Astrology is probably one of the most comprehensive pages for Western astrology on the web. If you would also like to know where the planets are in the sidereal astrology or Vedic astrology I use astrobix.com and their ephemeris. And I also post this info on the Star Season Star Breeds Facebook group page every week during the next moon phase. In Western astrology, the equinoxes and solstices start the season with the cardinal signs of the zodiac. And at the time of the new moon phase. As you can see, Libra season starts off the autumn equinox and Capricorn will be starting off the winter solstice on December 26th with the eclipse also in Capricorn. In the middle of every season, or the second month of a season, fixed signs take over. Like last month when November was Scorpio season, the middle of the fall in the northern hemisphere. So finally, the mutable signs of the zodiac end every season. Sagittarius season will end the fall, and the car cardinal signs will come again to start Capricorn season and the winter solstice, with Capricorn new moon on December 26, and also the Capricorn solar eclipse of the sun. At StarSeasonStarBreeze.com, we do focus on the moon a lot. Not to say that the sun doesn't matter, it's where we get our energy, but it's really about the asterisms, which are the stars, the planets, the asteroids, are at in your birth chart. For our life purpose though, it's all about the nodes of the moon. This is where we find our north node, which defines where our soul purpose is, or where our work for humanity lies, which is our whole purpose for experiencing this human life as an everlasting and infinite soul. Since the soul lives forever, the south node represents our past life information that we can use in this life to be triumphant with this new life purpose and can help us with our abundance, which is the key of what we accomplish in our soul purpose, because it's where we find our abundance in all things in this lifetime, whether it be monetary or love or family or friends or everyday things, whatever makes you feel about it. Okay, so it's super easy to find your nodes of the moon. It only has to be found with your birth month and your birth year. 
and there are only a couple of websites that I have found that, quick, that can quickly tell you your life purpose and give you advice on what to embrace for the first two weeks of every new moon phase and what we need to release for every full moon phase. If you don't have time to look for these or look them up for yourself, please watch my videos or contact me at starseasonstarbase.com or on our Facebook group page. Or you can email me at jar at starseasonstarbreeds.com and I will be happy to help you. My, um, the nodes of the moon this year are in Capricorn and Cancer. The north node is in Cancer and the south node is in Capricorn. However, I have mine in Capricorn as my north node and Cancer as my south node. So it's you use this table for either one. And so since those are the nodes of the moon this year and with every eclipse is either in Cancer or Capricorn. So our life purpose is really important because it only happens every 18 years that our nodes of the moon are in this place from the year that we were born in. So as you can see, I've highlighted Capricorn and Cancer. And Libra and Aries are directly across from that. So those also might apply to you. The energies with the eclipses are very prominent in the cardinal signs. So uh, look for the eclipse energy to be prominent for at least six months after the eclipse. So this is the chart that I would use. I highlighted my birthday, which is between April 28th, 1972 through October 27th, 1973. And my birthday month is October 1972. So I use Capricorn North Node and Cancer South Node to find my information for my life purpose. So right now we're at the end of this fall season. So the Gemini North Node and Mutable Signs will be most prominent of the energies going out right now. So this is what you would release with the full moon for these two weeks of the end of this fall season before we start the winter solstice. So for the winter solstice, when we get to the full moon, um, we use the beginning uh, of the season with the eclipse energy of Cancer of the of Cancer and Capricorn and all the cardinal signs. But we only release with the full moon and the third quarter moon. We embrace with the new moon. So six signs is the middle of the season. So if you have your north or south node in any of the fixed signs, you will want to release according to this, this chart. However, if you feel like you want, if any of the charts uh, pertain to you, you can release. But it's really, uh, it really has to do with the full moon and the third quarter moon. So whatever pertains to you is what I go by and what I release. And you can write it down to manifest with the full moon and the third quarter moon. Stick in <laughs> old school PowerPoint presentation. Um, hopefully, um, you will go to my website at starseasonstarbreeze.com or you can find us on Facebook. Um, the website is under construction right now. Um, but I am making adjustments and the whole point of the website is for raising positive vibes the frequency and the energy for the collective we are a believer in Christ consciousness and mostly it's a website that gives you information about the planets um, animals and indigenous people and humanity and how to make a difference in the world What I specialize in is your life purpose, so if you would like free readings, just join the website today, and if you would like to see our Facebook group, 
go to the website and click click on Star Season Starbreeds on Facebook. It'll take you straight to our page, our group page. I also have a Divine Feminine page that I'm working on. So if you have any questions about Divine Feminines or you'd like to join the group, um, please click on that. find that in the Star Seeds and Star Roots Facebook group page as well. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to do some more videos on the autumn fall season um, and just the seasons in general. I'm going to do my knowing of the Divine Feminine and the Moon, and I'm going to do a video on the vibration, frequency, and energy of the planets, as well as a life purpose video, so please stay tuned for those. Well, thanks again for watching. Um, I'm going to do a tarot reading for all the cardinal signs for this Gemini full cold moon. One card for each. Oh, I shall see. I used to love shuffling cards when I was a kid, so it's no wonder I like tarot cards. <laughs> dreaming dream big that's a good one so might, we might be having some really great dreams or you might be manifesting with our dreams so dream big and also playfulness have some fun so just for fun dream big And my life purpose is based on animals and helping the collective. So, what about Divine Masculine? Whoa. I'll just take, oh, there's two here. Passion. Do what you love. So, you. Mm, you guys might be feeling a lot of passion today out there in the water maybe it's kind of cold right now but <laughs> maybe you are doing what you love out in nature and accept acceptance loving what is so maybe you're feeling left out or wanting to be accepted but love what you got by masculine okay so let's get started I'm gonna close my door hold on one sec okay my little dog just walked in the room and my mom's blasting oldies so <laughs> I will I don't know if you can hear that but hopefully not Okay, Divine Feminine. Oh, yeah. Light my... Hold on. Let me light my incense again. <laughs> How 
was calling it my candle. I'm feminine. Root to the crown. And the ethers. And the ethers. For cardinal signs, Aries Libra, Cancer Capricorn. Crown. Root to crown. To root. Prince of Swords. Oh, too many. For the sacral chakra. And solar plexus. Now the heart, throat, third eye. Heart. masculine root to the crown for your life purpose and this is where we're going to look and see if we're stuck if we're blocked what's going on are we raising our kundalini are we activated going towards our life purpose this harvest season start out harvest with season and Scorpio season and Sagittarius season. Almost over with. We only got a week and a half. My master. Root to the crown. My masculine. Root to the crown. And I was saying, I guess, you don't really, uh, feminines really don't have to go first. I mean, if you're a male empath, it doesn't matter what. It's all energy, whatever body you're in, you can be the masculine or the feminine. The empath usually goes first, though, on your journey. And you can be married, divorced, maybe just found a twin. That you were not married to, but maybe discovered on your path in this age of enlightenment. I know lots of people that have done that this year, and they're kind of freaked out by it. <laughs> so their families are too. So hopefully that's not everyone. There are married couples that. Have not stepped to the life purpose as well. Oh, heart chakra, the devil. Okay, so for Divine Feminine, in the Root Chakra, you have whoop, <laughs> Prince of Swords. That looks like Christmas. 
um, that's an angel, Archangel Michael on a sled, being led by angels. I love those angels too. And I've seen Archangel Michael in a dream and he was blonde like that and he had cherubs around him. I thought they were kids hanging off of him. It was so weird. And then I looked at him and he had little man faces. They were, yeah. And that's when I realized they were cherubs. And he was like in a garden. It was really cool. And he had his mate with him. I'm not sure if that, her name's Faith or Grace. I forget which one is his mate. But, and he was glowing. And his face was kind of changing between masculine and feminine. It was really, it was really a cool dream. But anyway, uh, Prince of Swords. This might be a blockage for Divine Feminine and the Root Chakra. Um, maybe, hmm. You're cutting out what no longer serves you so you can take off. And maybe Archangel Michael's helping you do this. So maybe not, uh, and it's winter time, so maybe winter time will be cutting a lot of this stuff out. So maybe this isn't happening right, right now. But with the Gemini full moon, you'll be stepping into this energy in the root chakra. For Divine Masculine, however, you are the magician in your root chakra. A lot of red and pink, so a lot of Aries energy. Um, yeah, the magician is usually Gemini as well, so. I see it as Gemini or Aries. But you're taking control of maybe your health and um, yeah, maybe it's about health for or Divine Masculine's watching that you're concerned with and you're taking control of. So I don't see that as a blockage, that's you're manifesting in your roots. And that's what we're supposed to do. So that's a really good sign. For the sacral chakra, divine feminine, you are nine of swords. You're, um, hmm. <laughs> Maybe you're worried about fertility. Um, worried about your, this is a definite blockage to get going on your journey. Um, unnecessary thoughts blocking you from taking this journey of fertility, unnecessary thoughts, yeah, of what you can manifest for yourself. Um, either baby-wise, fertility-wise, um, maybe you feel defeated in some way sexually. <laughs> on your journey, but unnecessarily, unnecessary thoughts about, about maybe even sexuality and sex. And for a divine masculine, you're feeling, you're feeling triumphant and you're moving towards being triumphant sexually. Uh, sacral is about our, our, yeah, our fertile bodies, our, our get up and go. Since you're the magician, you might be creating something new for yourself, health-wise, and you're moving towards greatness. Maybe something, um, making movement towards being, uh, changing your diet, changing, um, if you have any illnesses, disease, that's gone. You're moving forward, making things manifest, curing, maybe a doctor. 
And this is this is a good sign. Nothing stuck there. For Divine Feminine and the Solar Plexus. Kind of two of Pentacles. So this is also maybe a two of Pentacles. I see as Capricorn. So maybe you're stuck in your job. You're doing things over and over again. You're maybe with this and maybe you're um, juggling love. Oh, because of the nine of swords. Um, or ideas. You're juggling your abundance of your pentacles, your ideas, your your um, abundance with your spirituality. Maybe you're juggling those two things with unnecessary thoughts. This could also be abundance, fertility, or the sacral of your abundance, health. Unnecessary thoughts are keeping you from your spirituality, and maybe your pentacles. Um, making money because of spirituality and we can all make money with our spirituality we're meant to have abundance in our lives so those are a block and we'll look at that we'll get some advice for that for um, divine masculine however they're kind of stuck there too but they're stuck in a different way too too um, let's see uh, just which way to go maybe which path to choose what what to fight for two of swords I see huh. two of swords could be Libra Gemini Aquarius Maybe you're stuck um, communicating something, stuck, um, stuck in partnerships, expressing yourself, or stuck um, choosing between others in your solar plexus. I forget what kind of animals those are. I have to look that up. For Divine Feminine in the heart space, your heart chakra, it's four of wands. So that's home and stability. That's Cancer right there, Cancer Moon. Um, the moon's in Cancer today. So you're thinking about your home and stability and in your heart space, which is very Cancer Moon. So I don't think that's a block at all. It's like the lower manly chakras are what's keeping you stuck. And for Divine Masculine, you have the devil in your heart space. So this could be work. Maybe you're the devil. It can be Capricorn. You're really focused on work. You you love your job. I think it's <laughs> the best. <laughs> but maybe it's taking over your abundance. Maybe it's too much of an obsession. Obsessed with work. Because uh, if it's in your heart space, then maybe you need to take time out for love and acceptance and some compassion in your heart instead of obsessing maybe over something or or some, a career rather than expanding your heart to love. And for the throat chakra, Divine Feminine, Three of Pentacles. This is interesting because he already has the three pentacles are down here in stone and he's still working on it but it's already etched in there for you so um, you've been working really hard you are communicating what needs to be communicated and your pentacles are waiting there for you so 
and you're just working really hard so I don't see anything blocked with your throat chakra looks like you're doing what needs to be done and you're working hard at it for divine masculine is the hierophant so in your throat chakra you might be pre be a preacher you could be um, expressing your spell self spiritually um, you could be talking to God and he could the angels could be talking to you helping you commun communicate yeah I see a lot of prayer with this card especially with the throat chakra that's a good that's a good sign nothing stuck there talk to him about your heart <laughs> Okay, and then for Divine Feminine and in the uh, third eye, pineal gland. Well, you see love. You see Six of Cups. You see flowers. You see the sunshine. <laughs> you see flowers filling up your cup. So you might be in service to others. You might be serving your Divine Partnership. Or boyfriend, whoever, husband, boyfriend, and divine other with love and companionship, love and light. So that's a really good sign for divine feminine. And you're seeing this in your third eye, so maybe it hasn't manifested yet, but you're seeing it happen for you, maybe in the future. Divine masculine actually has a high priestess, so. <laughs> He might be a little bit ahead of you. He is highly intuitive for this to be in in the in the third eye. This card for third eye means he is the high priest or priestess. And he is intuitively knowing what to do. He and with this in the root manifesting possibly your dreams you can manifest anything right now now you can clearly see with your third eye what's going on around you so I'm not sure what this is this is between your root and your third eye so gosh might might be obsessively praying and manifesting into and looking maybe um medita meditating more than enough <laughs> meditating a little too much but you are definitely manifesting and with the crown chakra divine femme you have eight of cups so you're walking away from possibly love in your mind um or you're transforming your your love in your mind you are maybe focusing on new beginnings and endings in your mind's eye or just in your crown connecting with what you can manifest what you love and thinking about that I also see this as you not taking control, walking away, getting old. <laughs> so hopefully that will change. And for Divine Masculine, that's a definite block. Um, Divine Masculine, Three of Pentacles in your crown chakra. So you're being fed possibly from above very uh, psychic galactic information three of course is trinity and pentacles yeah it could be you know angels three i think is archangel gabriel so you might be get, getting galactic information um like seeing a lot of sacred geometry seeing a lot of numbers coming at you 
222, yesterday was 333, and 1212. So you might be getting a lot of downloads right now from your higher self, which is because of this as well. And this, this is what I see as an angel. So, uh, Divine Masculine's on it. Yeah. Amazing. Might as well just do you. Um, for your last cards, you're higher above the head, which are the ethers, or your 5D dimensional. You have the Fool, which is also with the Divine Feminine, also has the Fool. So you might be mirroring your higher selves. You're both in touch with your higher selves. And you might be mirroring to her higher self. And you have the Queen of Wands. You're in your feminine power. You might be channeling your feminine power, being the fool. Oh. So maybe, I'm not sure. Feminine has a lot of stuck energy, so I don't know if you're giving this to her. You're channeling her feminine energy. She's channeling, yeah, that's weird. Because she's with the queen. Of, you have the queen of wands and she has the queen of swords. <laughs> with, she has the strength and the emperor. So you guys are definitely mirroring, I think. She's taking on masculine energy, masculine and feminine energy, Libra, Aries. She might have Libra, Aries, nodes in the moon, which is what this reading is for. The Fool I see is Aquarius, so either one of you might have Aquarius nodes of the moon, Aquarius, Scorpio, or Leo, Aquarius, yeah, the Fool is Aquarius, Leo, nodes of the moon. <clears throat> so she's, she needs strength from her higher self to begin something new, maybe with the, her emperor, or taking on this emperor energy and cutting out but it's no longer needed. And your higher self has seven seven as well. This is about fighting, fighting off people trying to bring you down. All these arms or people trying relationships, partnerships, trying to sink your ship. Seven of cups. You got lots of choices. So, kind of battling. All these choices, maybe being confused about who's going to bring you down. And seven is about partnerships. Seven and seven is 14, which equals five, which is about making the right choices and life changes on your mission. And that's advice, and that's from your higher self. And this is also Aquarius Leo. Queen of Wands. So you might be have nodes of the moon and Aquarius Leo. Yeah. So that's that. So I'm gonna do some advice for these places where we're stuck. Divine feminine needs it the most. <laughs> this is Archangel Power tarot cards. And this is going to be our advice. So that was an interesting reading. Much different than the first reading. With this full moon in Gemini. And the cardinal signs. Yeah, the mutable signs were much different. Um, this is Divine Feminine. After the full moon, it was all over the place. She was, she was queening up. She's queen everywhere. Now the only queen in here is the Queen of Swords. Hardly. And all the major arcana are in her etheric 
or higher self. So, <clears throat> but not for the divine masculine. He's got a lot of strong cards this time. So, hopefully, some of those signs I called out, which is for cardinal signs. And it can be your nodes in the moon or just your moon sign. Either one. Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn. Today the moon is in Cancer, so I'm not surprised that we got Cancer. Okay, let's look at Divine Feminine, the root chakra. What's the advice for Divine Feminine and her root chakra? Oh, take the one that didn't drop. Seven of Michael. There's a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So that's Archangel Michael again. Prince of Swords. So for your root chakra, you might need to ask for Archangel Michael's help in knowing what to do next, knowing how to take off. Ask the angels, ask Archangel Michael, ask your guardian angels how to get going, your root chakra, how to raise your kundalini and cut out what no longer serves you. And maybe the actions you're taking right now aren't the right ones. So look at that. They might be in partnerships. Seven is about partnerships. What about the Nine of Swords? The unnecessary thinking in the Sacral Chakra? Or unnecessary actions, maybe. Emotions. Looks like maybe action. Got two. The Moon. And the Ace of Michael. Again, Archangel Michael. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. And swords are all about communication. So, um, yeah. Ask Archangel Michael to help you find the words to clear up communication and unnecessary thinking. The opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. So maybe this block is affecting your your plans, um, where to go next, how to be creative. Oh yeah, the sacral is also about your creativity. Um, that's fertility, creativity. All comes from down there. Your um, sexual energy is your creativity creative energy okay so that's that makes sense oh, I'm getting better <laughs> I just have to meditate on it and think about it a little bit longer so unnecessary thinking about creativity so the opportunity to improve your plans listen to your intuition for accurate guidance face your fears and grow stronger so you might be concerned about being creative and not being able to yeah to raise your kundalini to that level meditation definitely okay and then for two of pentacles Two of Pentacles and the Solar Plexus. You're juggling spirituality, it looks like, with your Pentacles. What's the advice for that? Decision. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. Okay, so you may need a detox from um, addictions, alcohol, drugs, uh, nicotine, food bad food, sort of plant-based diet, um, smoking, drinking, yeah, all those things. 
to get your spirituality rolling. 15. One is creating. Five is also creative, creating life choices, life decisions. And two is your life purpose. So that's a definite block. Make Release yourself from that, that wood, which holds you back. Okay. We'll see how to do that. The rest looks pretty good for your upper chakras. Except for this crown. Let's see why you're walking away from in your mind. What are we walking away from and where are we going? Crown chakra. How we connect to God. Five of Gabriel. A challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So you might be walking away from um, the drama of other people. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So you might just want to go into hermit mode. Make better life ch um, changes and choices. Eight is about transformation. Transforming your emotions. Um, yeah. Transform your emotions. Have patience. And getting away from the drama of others. So that explains that. Good. Okay. And then for your higher self, it looks like you're having the strength to start new. Take a leap of faith. Take on this emperor energy. Let's see what the queen of swords has to say. What are you cutting out? And what advice for cutting? She kind of looks like Wonder Woman too. Cutting out the, the BS. What do we have for that? What? The archangels have to say about that. Again, <laughs> Archangel Michael. Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. Principled, rational, ambitious, respected. So another king, king. Yeah, you're getting into your, um, or maybe you need to get into your emperor energy. Your higher self is in this emperor energy, cutting out the bullshit and staying in your integrity is the advice. Be honest and open when you're communicating. That's what Archangel Michael says. So, good advice for for Divine Femme. All right, uh, let's just look at the Devil for Divine Masculine. <laughs> well, I think I kind of went over it. This is just going to be advice. Um, but every other card looks good. All right, let's see two swords. In your solar plexus, deciding, making decisions on what to do next, two things, two people, two places. Motion, no, it would be decisions. You're knowing of two decisions, two people, two places, two things. Three of Gabriel. Prosperity arising from wise planning. Take time, or time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. So from a two to a three, prosperity arising from wise planning. This is all about thinking, being wise, thinking about planning. Take time to take the next step, or it's time to take the next step. Optimistic plans to so be, be optimistic, and with the with the moon, this could be happen with the next moon. Swords, 
that would be the Libra moon, which is next week. So, optimistic plans that turn out as expected. This could happen probably next week if you make wise planning and take the next step. And the devil in your heart space. <laughs> I'd be obsessing about love. Oh, I'm not sure. Let's clarify with some advice. Divine guidance, which is what this is right next to the devil. So we're on the right track. That's just confirming. Archangel Sandalfon. Five again is about life choices life changes the search for the meaning in life consider an alternative approach surround yourself with wise teachers or friends yeah so you got lots of coverage <laughs> lots of angel coverage you are um maybe connected somehow to el diablo so Search for the meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. Say, I rebuke you, Satan, devil, and pray. Because it looks like you have lots of guides trying to guide you. And it looks like maybe you are taking the steps, but once you get to this high priestess, let's see what that is. Because with the magician here and the devil in between, <laughs> the magician and the high priestess, I hope you're not summing in any negative thing. Because you have lots of angels around you. For sure. Let's see about the high priestess. Oh, a rainbow. Your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. So that's good to see. I think lots of feminine energy around you. Yeah, you guys with your higher selves are definitely. Let's see. Wait, before we get to the higher selves, let's see about the Three of Pentacles in your crown chakra. What advice for that? About downloads, sacred geometry, angel numbers. What could this be about? The Empress. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. So I see you in your... And these top chakras are the feminine chakras. So you're balancing that out pretty well. And it looks like we are... Masculine and feminine are... Definitely mirroring. To act up, time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious and abundant resources. So, you are taking off and you're taking a leap of faith in your feminine strong energy. Let's see what these two sevens are about. Well, it's obviously about partnerships, making choices, making changes. What advice from the Archangels for that? Queen of Raphael. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. And you are definitely downloading psychic information from everywhere. <laughs> from your root to your third eye. So, and to your higher self. So, follow your heart. A love of ho home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. So trust your third eye. Trust your guidance from your angels. Make the right choices. You got divine guidance all around you. It looks like really amazing. So this is a really good read. 
Ooh, well, thanks for watching. I'm going to do um, uh, some Mother Mary cards also for advice, just real quickly. And this Journey of Love again. One card for both Divine Masculine and Feminine. Why don't I do the Mother Mary first? Mary, Queen of Angels from Doreen Virtue. One for Divine Masculine, one for Divine Feminine. And I'll read them. Well, that might be too long, but... Yesterday was Our Lady, the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. So, let's see if Mary's here. Oop, the Mary Let's see. Watched over. I allow myself to feel safe and enjoy my life, knowing that heaven is watching over me and my loved ones. Awesome. I'll read that one. This card brings a message of reassurance of your safety and asks you to drop any defenses or guards that may currently be preventing you from enjoying your life. By relaxing into God's protective arms, you reduce your stress level in healthful ways. God, Jesus, Mother Mary, and the angels have heard and answered your prayers for protection. You receive their answers via the repetitive feelings and thoughts which guide you along your pathway of safety. Keep your mind sober and open so that you can clearly pick up on these divine messages and be sure to take action where they direct you. Okay, and that's confirmation of this other card that we had. Release yourself from that which holds you back. I need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. So you are being watched over, just like the masculine. And one for the masculine. Thank you, Mother Mary. Queen of Angels. Oh. oh shoot. Where did that go? Bah. Oh. Okay. Action. Today I take action related to the priorities I have previously put off. Action read that mother Mary sends you this gentle reminder that sometimes you must take human action in order for your prayers to be answered such is the case with your current situation where you may have disregarded or procrastinated working on a priority mother Mary is compassionate and understands that you've got multiple responsibilities demanding your time and attention even so this is a case where things will stay at a standstill until you take steps in your desired direction. To clarify which action steps to take, sit quietly and interview your heart with these questions. What is most important to me? How much time do I devote to these priorities? Daily, what can I do right now to support them? Notice the thoughts and feelings that arise because these are part of the answers of your, to your prayers. Then ask Mother Mary and the angels to boost your motivation and confidence to take these actions. Cool. Okay. Last but not least. Oh, nice. Journey of Love. By Alana Fairchild. Wazuli. And Mr. Cone. Okie dokes. Line Femme. Ladies first. <laughs> okay, just making sure my camera is still working. Oh, it does that. 
Okay, Divine Feminine. I really like these cards. They have a little poem at the end. One card for Divine Feminine. Ay, ay, ay. Not too many. I just think oh, it's all flipped over. One more time. <laughs> Thirty-eight pearl threaded. Oh, I've never seen that one before. My masculine. Let's see. This is a mess. <laughs> Maybe I should pick up those. My time. Wow. That's too many. I'll just take the top one. She is the moon. The divine masculine. Okay. Do divine feminine first. Number 38. Three is for communication. Eight is transformation and new beginnings and endings. Thirty-eight. Never seen this one. The pearl threading. Divine feminine. Though we labor through the illusion of individuality and have to face our inner challenges in solitude, our spiritual transformation is not independent, an independent event, nor is it for our victory alone as we approach the enlightened way of all-embracing love. Each human being is a pearl on the Divine Mother's garland, gradually assuming luster and revealing beauty, worth, and reliance over many lifetimes. Together we are creating a precious offering in return for her gift of life. We can learn to draw, the collective, draw on the collective effort to allow our own journey to become integrated into the journey of the group without being weighed down and instead to be left up, lifted up. To do this, we honor the thread that connects each of us as one divine being, just like the various fingers that belong to the one hand. Then we honor the pearl essence of our divine nature that we are capable of growth and transformation by becoming divine beauty. This oracle brings you a message. You are to shift your perspective to allow all groups that you are involved in to become a source of energetic lifting rather than de depletion. <laughs> if a group you are involved in cannot do this for you, then you may not be in vi vibrational res resonance and it may be time to seek a group that is more energetically supportive of your vibration. Trust your feelings and don't be scared to open up and allow yourself to connect with others. That way you can truly know if a group or gathering is for you or if you need to move on. But do trust that you are not alone on your journey and the soul connections that will nourish you will draw you to them like strands of pearls on the divine mother's necklace hearts apart remember love and time stands still that's the poem hearts apart remember love and time stands still okay Maybe that kind of sums up this whole reading that maybe we're not being as creative enough. We're not tapping into our creativity and looking for a group that accepts our creativity. Maybe we're too messy with our creativity. <laughs> okay, 21. She is the moon for Divine Masculine. Two is for our life purpose. And our abundance, one is about manifesting. And added together, that's a three, is about communication. The light of the moon ebbs, ebbs and flows. The wisdom of patience is not about waiting around for something to happen rather than getting up and getting it done. The wisdom of patience is that of the gardener who consults the lunar calendar. The right time promoting growth, planting where there is fertile soil and allowing the soil to rest and replenish what it needs to. 
You are being asked to check in with your timing. Is now the time for action or for rest? And Mother Mary told you to take action. <laughs> okay. Or did, uh, let's see, I lost my place. It can change quickly, just like the phases of the moon. If you are unsure, that's okay too. Perhaps you are waiting for more light to reveal the way. As the moon grows full, all things come in time. Your message comes through this oracle. Your manifestation is unfolding in perfect timing. If you feel something isn't happening fast enough or is happening quickly and you are unsure if you are, are really ready, be assured all is well. If something is not clear to you and you would like to, it to be more so, the clarity you seek will come to you. Do not worry. Do not try to force. Do not worry. Do not try to force the insight. Just be with what is happening now and trust. You are moving and growing and all is well. Soon you will see that for yourself, just as the moon grows full and revealing, even in the midst of the deepest night. And the poem says, waiting. These moments are precious, like jewels on the crown of life. They beckon my heart, forming memories that sparkle with joy. And like the longing of a sweet caress, they draw me near, meeting into one, showing what is possible on the journey of life, waiting for the season's change. And we are coming up. This was the last full moon of the autumn season. And in a week and a half, we'll be into the winter season. I'll say the poem one more time. These moments are precious, like jewels uh, on the crown of life. They beckon my heart, forming memories that sparkle with joy. And like the longing of sweet caress, they draw me near, melting into one, showing what is possible on the journey of life, waiting for the season's change. Well, that's it. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will be doing another one for the fixed signs of Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo next. So thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me. I hope I'm doing better. And I hope you're doing good. Thanks for watching. Bye.